Hey guys, Darren here with a box review of, I'm doing a, a double box review where I'm reviewing both 19, uh, 1991 Action Pack, both the regular series as well as the Rookie Update series. And the regular series they have in for 91, they started doing these boxes with a, a card embossed into the, the top. I mean, these are just gorgeous boxes. These are among those rare boxes where if you want a, a cool display on in your card area where you have some cards in a box, this is a really cool one to have where if you have this thing open, it just looks neat. And they have a sweepstakes that came in each of these boxes. So the rookie update also had that. Here they have Herman Moore, which is card number one, and obviously the sweepstakes. So those were the two boxes I did, and I wanted to go ahead and look at what Series 1 and Series 2 was like. Now for the for the regular box, I don't remember how many of these I went through, but I, I mean I've long had a complete set. I've never gotten rid of any of my doubles, so I'm... I uh, probably could get pretty close to a complete set from this. But the thing I got to note is I got no doubles in this, but the set is far larger than what comes in the box. In fact, in 1990, they had what they called Series 1 and Series 2, where half the set was in Series 1, half in Series 2, scattered about. So if you got a Series 1 and Series 2 box in 1990, you got one set. So here, you got no doubles, and I don't know if it's the same thing where I got half of the set in this box. If I got another box, would that give me a um, would that give me a complete set? Would they feather together, or would I get a bunch of doubles? I don't know, and I'm curious. I may actually get a second box to find out, because I really am curious to to find out about that. As far as the rookies go, this is a box I'm very familiar with, and I'll get to that in a second. So first off, the card design of 1991 is about as great as it gets. The images aren't usually as as rock solid as I would like for the regular set. They they didn't quite maximize the potential of the card, but with the gold foil, which Action Pact had debuted in '89, um, it looks great here with the full full bleed and the colors are really strong, which is great. The card back is a little bit better than the previous year. There's not a big change, but it does feel a little bit better. To me, this is as close to a perfect card as it gets, primarily because it still has all of the ridges on it. It still has the, the relief that makes these cards so amazing. And the since I did not get any doubles, I didn't get a complete set, nothing like that, these are all the star cards that I got, which are almost all the star cards, period. So I got Thurman, I got Troy Aikman, I got John Elway, I got Barry Sanders, uh, Sterling Sharp, Herman Moore, Derek Thomas, Marcus Allen, Bo Jackson, Dan Marino, and Joe Montana. So I didn't get Rice, I think Rice is in here. I didn't get Emmett Smith. There were uh, just a couple of players of note that I didn't get. So I got almost everybody I needed. They, uh, I did not get a gold card in this box, which isn't, it wasn't one per box. That wasn't the rate they came. So I wasn't surprised by it, but it would have been nice. But they, I also didn't get any braille cards, but they do have um, checklists in, in the boxes or in the packs. And so I ended up getting, uh, there are four checklists. I got five. This was kind of a misprint um, checklist. I also got a non-printed checklist. So that was kind of weird. So I can actually look in here and see right now if Jerry Rice, yeah, Rice was in here. So I just didn't happen to get him. But I was able to get the complete checklist, although this damaged one, or this off, uh, off cut one, um, off printed one, is, um, I'd like to get a better one, but then I got doubles of this one. So these checklists um, were, they came in the box. And like I said, I got all four of the checklists plus a double. Other than that, this is a very straightforward, um, a very straightforward box of cards. There aren't a lot because it's just six cards per pack. So every single one of the packs has a very limited number of cards that it provides you with, which is just the nature of these super, super thick cards. But they're, they're, these are among uh, the most, ta well, these have to be the most tactile cards ever because every time that you, that you touch the card, you're feeling the contours of the card. And so it's, it has a very special feel to it, which is fun. The cards, they don't get stuck together in any, any way that damages them. I have had one or two cards that got damaged at some point. But for the most part, because of the fact they don't get mashed together, they hold up really well. So when you get them and they're stuck together, you just easily pop them apart and you're good. 
and then you go through the cards. They're tough to handle though, that's kind of the big problem. But they also have a glossy shot of the player and then a matte finish of the card back. So when you look at it head on, you don't notice it, but as you move the card around, so like the whole time for me, I'm looking at an angle and I can see the difference. And that's another little quality that just makes, it, makes these cards really cool. But like I said, this is a straightforward affair. This is the kind of thing you, you open the box in order to get a complete set, uh, rather than to hunt for great cards. The, uh, or I should say this one. The Rookies, on the other hand, this is something I'm very familiar with. I opened a lot of these boxes. Not only do I have a complete set already, I opened enough boxes, I completed nine additional sets. So I had 10 complete sets, four binders. And so I actually have a bind. This is one of the coolest things you can ever do if you ever get a chance. If you're into binders, get nine copies of every single card for a complete small set. Put it in a binder. Every time you th flip through the pages, the whole page is just the same card. Some cards look great. Others do not. This is one of those rare sets where it is just incredible when you see nine of them all together on one page. And I have a whole binder of that. Just the all 84 cards just page after page after page all of these cards they they look they look great when they are uh, replicated when they're um, when you have multiple in fact to give you a better example uh, let's see what number is he he's 16 so you get Harvey Williams here and I'll, I'll see if I can pull this off and show you three Harvey Williams all together and so when you get that kind of repetition it is it's a it's a really really neat effect to uh, to have and so that that was something I got to do with this box because there are only 84 um, 84 cards in the set so it's easy to get one set in a box and it, it only took me like six maybe seven boxes to get all ten sets so so that was good but the big question of course is did I get a gold card and for the rookies I did I got Stanley Richards and these, uh, this is a set I already have, so I didn't need this. I do need some of these. And there are no s real stars in this set. The 24 karat gold uh, for the rookies just doesn't have anyone of, of real note. 92 did. So this was, you know, it's kind of another one of the, uh, another one of the cards um, that I got. Pretty cool. But so I did get one set of the rookies. How did I do in terms of doubles? Well, I got a Herman Moore. I got two Harvey Williams. I did get a second Brett Favre, so that's that's the big card in the set. Uh, extra Ricky, Ricky Waters, Aeneas Williams, uh, Roger Craig, and Ronnie Lott, and I got two extra Steve Youngs. So two Youngs and two um, Harvey Williams in the doubles, and I got all of the I th I think I got all of the doubles of of note or all the players in note. I think I got doubles of all of them. So. Again, it's one of those cases where it's more about putting together the set. But this this was a huge improvement over the the regular cards, where the images are good here. They're great in the um, in the rookie card set. They don't have as much to work with. So some of these cards, like Alvin Harper here, is kind of fuzzed out a little bit. But overall, the card uh, the image choice is a lot stronger for these cards, and I, I really I really love them. And that's, that's uh, it, it's fun to be able to put these sets together because Action Packed, they were just amazing cards. But this is, this is not something where you're going to get some super rare card, some super special card. You might get a really good 24 karat gold card. You could get Marino or Elway or uh, Emmett Smith. You could get one of those um, in the regular series. But as far as the rookies go, they don't have much in terms of the 24 karat gold. They don't have any other inserts. I don't think they did a, a checklist with the rookies um, at, at all, which, not that that really matters, but it was, uh, no, they never did because I opened enough of those boxes and I've never had a checklist of the rookies, so definitely not. But yeah, these, these are fun cards. And these are the kinds of cards you don't put into slabs because they do need to be interacted with. That's the whole point of Action Packed. They're fun to actually physically work with. You want to be sitting on your floor and just um, exploring your cards, shuffling your cards around, uh, looking at them. That's what these cards are about. These are amazing in that regard. The colors are strong, everything's great about it. And both sets are great to collect. They're 
plentiful enough. They're easy to get, easy to put the set together, but I, I love it. And going through this box of cards, I absolutely 100% in no way needed. I didn't mind. It was so fun. It, and it reminded me of why I opened six or seven of these boxes uh, back when I did. And um, not enough for me to open up another one of these. But like I said, I am going to get another one of these to see if the sets feather together. I'm just, I am curious about that. Other than that, they're, they're great. Uh, both of these releases, they're, they're really great cards. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my take on it. Thank you guys for watching.